I'm more interested in the common tones. What brings us together as human beings, not what separates us. I wanted to, to combine the structure with the other structure. The idea of a spontaneous convulsion, spontaneous improvisation, mixed with the writing. The power of music, my father taught me when I was a kid how to use music to uh, learn to uh, create a teamwork. Through music you learn those values. There's a lot of values that you learn that they're totally important in humanity, especially nowadays. Teamwork, respect, discipline. Panama is a melting pot, and uh, as a melting pot I wanted there's a biodiversity that I'm calling what I do a uh, biomusical. My dream of having the classical jazz and Latin coming into a world of its own. You've got to take chances, take chances, and take more chances. <laughs>There's a lot of tones from my childhood in the record, especially the way I, I learned from my father. For example, when I was a kid, sometimes I didn't like certain classes. You know, I was uh, six, seven years old, and he would put music to, let's say, a mathematics or a geography class I didn't like. So, you know, two plus two is four, tata, kum. Four, two is six, paco, two, two. And that's how he taught me to, to look, to use music as a, as a vehicle to learn have a very strong uh, feeling for, for my country and where we're going. There's some really adventurous uh, pieces that, that has the feeling of the tamborito, Panamanian rhythm that goes ta kum pa kututu, ta kum A huge inspiration for me to, to make this record has, all, has been my experience in Panama with the foundation that I created and also the Panama Jazz Festival, who turned out to be an amazing uh, educational convention where artists meet the young generation and they change in ultimate ways, not only in music, but also life experience. You know, one of the greatest experiences was working with Dizzy Gillespie and some of the greatest masters that I had the chance to, to play with. The, the, the way that they, they approach sharing, it touched me very deeply, celebrating life through music. That's what I learned from, from Wayne Shorter. I feel that, that responsibility, because when you learn something f from those masters, you have to pass it along. When you're doing a, like a improvisation, it's like da 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 This song air too, and somebody going Don't rush, ba inspiration in my life. Galactic Panama. Yeah. Oh man, Galactic Same. Panama. That's the hope of, of a Panama in many years to come after 2012. Oh my God. <laughs> Carlos Eleta Almaran, an incredible Panamanian composer. This piece has walked all over the world. 
Bridge of Life is one of the pieces, one of my favorite pieces because it's, it was an, when we did this session, it, it was like I wrote this piece for a woodwind. My dream of having the classical jazz and Latin coming into a world of its own. Providencia is a city of, of Chile where my wife was born. And this, this feeling, that, that, that the feeling of appreciation and respect and love that I have for, for my wife, it just came to me in one of those pieces. I didn't even question any note, I just sang it and transcribed it. Irremediablemente solo, another great Panamanian composer, Avelino Muñoz, and the tune is also very tragic because after a love experience, I just feel totally lonely, and I just love the feeling. The Oracle. The Oracle is a piece very meaningful to me because he has a, he has a meaning of a of visionary man. This is a dedication to one of the greatest teacher, Charlie Vanacos. Well, for the Covilla is a very strong piece. It's about our declaration of getting up and doing something for for our generation. I, I think jazz is one of the best fingerprints that, that humanity created. And that's why, because it comes from adventure and creativity and a struggle also, and happiness and all this feeling, as long as we are here, you can't take it away. Yeah.